Okay, and so the next thing to do is to actually do something. Now that we've been talking for an hour and 20 minutes, now we're going to install shop on the store. And that is www.mental, whoops, mental manage, M A N A G E M E N T S T O R E dot com. So I've done a little bit of basic formatting of this thesis site. Log into it here real quick. So what we have here is a WordPress 3.3 dashboard. Looks a little bit different than you're used to seeing unless you've already installed WordPress 3.3. And I'm not really going to talk about this. But this is the friendly don't panic screen with, you know, uh, with its writing in its large friendly letters. And it's intended to help new people sort of walk through their WordPress installation. If you're currently working with WordPress 3.2.1, which is the current stable version, you won't see this. But, and in fact, I'm not going to dismiss it. I want people to get used to have, seeing it. But it's not a... Anyway, it's, it's, yes, I am going to dismiss it. Forget about it. It's gone. Okay, so this is the WordPress 3.3 interface. And we are going to install a plugin. Now, what you have to do is, of course, you have to buy this plugin from Shop. And for the purpose of this course, what we've done is we've bought a single site access to the Shop. We've bought the add on authorized.net. We've bought the add-on for the United States Postal Service, and we've bought the add-on for Amazon S3. So in the course of this, we will be incorporating each of these things into that. And once you buy this, you end up with registration credentials that allow you to activate the software once it's installed. And that those registration credentials aren't necessary for shop to actually run but they are necessary for shop to be automatically upgraded or updated and so um, anyway once you've made this purchase then you can you will have downloaded shop to your computer and that's where we're starting right now we're going to just go ahead and upload shop whoops from here by selecting add new and upload choosing the file and selecting it from a place where we downloaded it which in my case is under downloads shop.zip and we'll activate it Okay, and that's it. It has now been activated and it's version 1.19. So if we go to shop and click on that button, you get this first screen. Now all of shop's actions happen over here in this drop down menu. You know, you can check your orders, you can review your customers, you add and edit products, you add and edit product categories, you can set up promotions, you address your settings, all that kind of stuff happens over here in this section. But before you do that, you get this screen, which shows every time you activate shop. And this screen essentially directs you to the official documentation which we're going to go take a look at here for a second. Now, the documentation is not publicly available, so in order for you to see the documentation, you actually have to log in. Um, yeah. But once you have logged in, you have this, you know, getting started system, New to shop is not a bad place to start. You know, it talks a little bit about the shop pages and about the initial setup. 
and um, about the default catalog and, and and that sort of thing. It also points you in the direction of troubleshooting resources and then the community forums. You can also look at the documentation, although this is, um, once you get down to these API points, this is a pretty uh, this is for programmers, really. This is fairly complicated stuff. But it is nevertheless, it may be stuff that you want to end up resorting to. Most of this you can actually handle simply by uh, reviewing these things or by going to the forum. And the first thing to do, of course, is simply to search the forum for what you're looking for. And again, it does require you to log in. It's not a single site login. You'll have to log in for your shop credentials. You have to log in to the support to get access to the documentation. And you have to log in to a different site, essentially, to get to the forum. But I have my logins all the same. so. And then you can look at, you know, this is the shop documentation. But you can also look at community support and look at the different questions that happen to be going on right now. Make sure you want to you want to make sure that you skip the 1.2 beta topics because of course we're not using 1.2 beta. We are using um, we're not using the beta version. We're using 1.1.9. So anyway, there's you can search the support form for questions that you may have and and actually I've never had to post a question on the forum. Uh, anytime I was working on something that I needed to do, I could uh, simply search on the forum and I'd find the answer. However, you do have uh, the opportunity to post questions here as well. And you can also post whoops, support questions to the staff there as well. So the next thing we're going to do is going to continue over to shop setup. Now, let's see. Lanny, I'm going to unmute your microphone here for just a second. Again, this isn't critical. We can do this later. But, uh, Lanny, do you have your product activation key uh, handy? Uh, no, no I, I emailed it to you. Oh, did you email it to me? Oh, okay. Yeah, it, Pardon me. It's in, it's in the, same, the same file. Oh, is it in that zip file? Yeah, there's a, there's a doc... Um, there's a doc document in there with it. Uh, I, I emailed it to myself too, so I'll find oh, Okay. I didn't. I didn't really look. Here, I should just download that then. Oh yeah, and there's your update key. Okay, perfect. Okay, so anyway, it's not absolutely essential. This this will actually activate without the activation key. Uh, but the activation key does connect you up to their update server and so when updates are available, you'll be able to use automatic updates. We're going to activate the key there. The keys are unique, so we've activated it for this side. If we tried to use it on another side, it wouldn't work. And all the rest of this we're going to fill out next week when we do our setup, because we're going to do all the rest of these settings. But I wanted to show you what happened once we did this. Because once we did this, what happened is it created this shop page and then it created a cart page, a checkout page, and a your orders page. And these are those transaction related pages that we are going to use. We're ultimately not going to use the shop page in this site, but we're going to leave it there. We just won't reference it in our any of the as we use the site. 